collection, presentation and representation of data. What is the use of displaying data? The purpose of developing clearly understandable table charts and graphs is to facilitate first analysis, second interpretation of data, third effective and rapid communication on complex issues and situations in our life. Some of the general rules for displaying data. The simpler the diagram is, the better it is. Graphs, tables and charts can be used together. Use clear descriptive titles and labels. Provide a narrative description of the highlights. Don't compare variables with different scales of magnitude. Now what is graph? Graph is a diagram shown as a series of one or more points, lines or line segments, curves or areas. The graphs represent variation of a variable in comparison with that of one or more other variables. Now what is scale line graph? Scale line graph represents frequency distributions over time where the y axis represents the frequency whereas the x axis represents the time. So the graph showing frequency versus time is a scale line graph. An example of scale line graph is the trends in HIV prevalence among the pregnant women in country X for the years given as follows. The y axis that is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40% represents the frequency of prevalence of HIV in the country X among the pregnant women, while the x axis represents the years 91 to 2000. Some of the specific rules in scale line graphs y axis should be shorter than x axis. Start the y axis with 0, determine the range of values needed and select an appropriate interval size on both x axis and y axis. Bar charts or bar graphs. It uses differently colored or patterned bars to represent different classes where y axis represents the frequency and x axis may represent either time or different classes. An example of bar chart. Differences in HIV prevalence among various high risk groups for country X year first. The X axis has the following classes female sex workers, men who have sex with men, injecting drug users, prisoners, refugees. So these populations are present in X axis while the HIV, HIV prevalence percentage 0 to 30 percent is shown in the Y axis. Some of the specific rules about bar charts. Arrange categories that define bars in a natural order for example age. If natural order that is age does not exist then define such categories by name such as country, sex or marital status. Now position the bars either vertically or horizontally. Make bars the same width. Length of the bars should be proportional to the frequency of event on the y axis. Now clustered bar charts. Bars can be presented as clusters of subgroups in clustered bar charts. These are useful to compare values across categories. They are sometimes called staked bar charts. So this is an example of clustered bar chart where the HIV, HIV prevalence percentage from 0 to 35 percent is shown on the y axis whereas the side 1, side 2, side 3 have clustered bars of for different rectangles and colors of different heights. These are shown on x axis. So this is the HIV prevalence rate among the pregnant 15 to 19 year olds at four clinic sites city x and country y. So the years are different. The yellow color represents the year first. The blue color represents the year second and the red color represents the year third. So the bars or the rectangles are in a form of a cluster. So these are called clustered bar chart. Some of the specific rules of clustered bar charts show no more than three sub bars within a group of bars. Leave a space between adjacent group of bars. Use different colors or patterns to show different subgroups for the variables being shown and include a legend that interprets the different colors and patterns. Now histograms. 
histograms is a representation of a frequency distribution by means of rectangles width of bars represents class intervals and height represents corresponding frequency so this is an example of histogram children living with hiv district x in the year 2002 the width of all these rectangles represents the class for example less than 1 year 1 year to 2 year and so on while the height represents the frequency of children that are being affected by hiv in the year 2002 pie charts pie charts is a circular that is 360 degree graphical representation of data and it compares sub classes or categories to the whole class or category using differently colored or patterned segments this is an example of pie chart in which it shows projected annual expenditure requirements for hiv aids care and support by 2005 by region so we can see that the contribution that is the part of annual expenditure requirements for hiv and aids care and support is maximum for sub saharan africa because the prevalence of hiv is more in uh, such regions area maps area maps is simply a graph used to plot variables by the geographic locations so this is an example of area map where The HIV prevalence is shown in adults in Africa in the end of year 2003. Tables, a rectangular arrangement of data in which the data are positioned in rows and columns. Each row and column should be labeled. Rows and columns with totals should be shown in the last row or in the right hand column. So this is the basic example of a table which shows adults and children. with hiv aids by region in country year and year x poly bar diagram the line and bar graphs as drawn separately may also be combined to depict the data related to some of the closely associated characteristics such as the climatic data of mean monthly temperatures and rainfall for example this is a poly bar diagram in which there are two axes of y which rep uh, represents rainfall in centimeters from 0 cm to 25 cm while the temperature in degree centigrade represents 0 to 35 degree centigrade while the x axis represents the classes which are months from january to december so to sum up if the information is presented in a either descriptive or uh, tabular form then it becomes somewhat hectic and difficult to draw the results while the graphical form makes it possible to easily draw visual impressions of data the graphic method of the representation of data enhances our understanding it makes the comparisons easy besides such methods create an imprint on mind for a longer time